Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's show was called People and Companies Aren't Paying Their Bills Anymore. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. There's something very interesting going on out there now. As the economy gets worse and worse, people are beginning to notice this. They're beginning to see that other people and other companies aren't paying their bills like they used to. They're either taking longer than ever to pay them, or they have stopped paying them entirely, altogether. <laughs> you check the mail, or you check your electronic account, and there's nothing there to be seen from a vendor. In some industries, companies that used to pay their vendors in 30, 60, or 90 days are now trying to get them to accept payment in 6, 9, or even 12 months. One auto manufacturer has stated that they want to start paying their vendors once every 12 months. Can you imagine that? If you want the people you owe money to to wait 12 months to get paid by you, then you're basically just trying to rip them off. Or perhaps your company is on the way to filing for bankruptcy and you just want to rip off as many of your vendors as you can before you actually do file. Next, there is the issue of credit card debt. Most people used to pay their credit cards on a regular basis. That's changing now. As the economic pressure builds on a lot of people, they're taking longer to pay off their credit cards. That's why there are so many new buy now, pay later payment options online when you purchase something. Many of these businesses love it when people take longer to pay off their bills because they know that will dramatically increase the odds of them making a late payment, which will of course result in more fees being paid to them. The next thing we're seeing more and more of is that people are returning things they purchased online uh, more often simply because they're realizing they don't want to pay for those things or they can't afford to pay for them when they arrive. A lot of times people purchase things that appear great on the computer screen, but when they get the actual item, then they consider its cost and then decide that they really don't want it as much as they wanted it a few days ago. They just feel they already have too much credit card debt and this will just add to it disproportionately. These types of remorse returns are getting more and more common in the world of online shopping, and that's causing growing problems for many stores simply trying to get paid and collect their money. Next, we're seeing how people who loan money to friends are having more and more challenges getting that money back. We're also seeing very aggressive attempts by online retailers who want to avoid returning the money to customers who purchased something from them and then sent it back uh, they're coming up with all sorts of ways to delay returning that money to or even prevent returning that money back to the customers. What's happening is that rather than offering to put the, the customer's money back on their credit card, the stores and online retailers are offering all sorts of weird options like depositing your money into one of their store accounts instead of the customer's accounts. This is creating a growing sense that more and more people and companies not only don't want to pay their bills, but they, they don't even want to return the money to the people they owe it to. If they do intend to return it, it'll take much longer than ever to get that money back to them. And that delay is deliberate and it is engineered. So if you're trying to get your money back, what can you or your company do? Well, lots of individuals are now using and hiring collection agencies to get the money that is owed to them. Most people are under the impression that only companies use collection agencies. But now that is changing. If someone owes you money and they refuse to repay that debt and you don't uh, want to go to court, then you can always explore hiring a collection agency to retrieve your money. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.